Hello everyone. Now we know that elements generally try to achieve 8 valence electrons as stated in the octet rule. Actually, the elements try to achieve electron configuration of the noble gas nearest to them in the periodic table. Hence, lithium tries to achieve two valence electrons like helium atom. So, except for few elements very close to helium, other elements try to achieve eight valence electrons. Based on this, Cossel proposed formation of an electrostatic bond called ionic bond. The formation of this bond between of two dissimilar atom is a very simple process. Generally, one atom loses electron to achieve octet state and the other atom gains that electron to achieve eight valence electrons or the octet state. So, losing electrons means axis of positive charge, means it forms stable positive ion called cation and excess electron means excess negative charge which means it forms stable negative ion called anion. As we saw calcium which gives away two electrons from the outermost shell and forms cation to achieve eight valence electrons. Thus by giving two valence electrons Calcium has achieved a full outer shell of 8 electrons and chlorine that has 7 valence electrons gains an electron in the outermost shell and forms anion to achieve 8 valence electrons. Now the atoms with opposite charges that is anions and cations experience an electrostatic force. This electrostatic force holds them together and this chemical bond is called ionic bond. You know highly reactive metals like alkali metals in group 1 on the left side of the periodic table give away electrons. Metals have 1, 2 or 3 electrons in the outermost shell. So it is easier to achieve the octet state by giving up electrons rather than by gaining four or more electrons. Hence, sodium, potassium, calcium, etc. form stable cations by giving up electrons. On the other hand, non-metals which we see on the right side of the periodic table have five, six or seven valence electrons. So, acquiring or gaining electrons would be easier for them to achieve the octet state. So, they gain electrons during the chemical reactions and form stable anions. Thus, cations and anions are bound together with an electrostatic force of attraction. As the concept has been explained in terms of valence electrons, it is also called electrovalent bond. So to sum up what we learned today, what is an ionic bond? The chemical bond formed between the two atoms due to transfer of electrons from one atom to the other atom is called ionic bond or electrovalent bond. Also, in case of ionic bonding, there is complete transfer of valence electrons between atoms and the two oppositely charged ions are generated. And lastly, the metal loses electrons to become a positively charged cation whereas the non-metal accepts those electrons to become a negatively charged anion. So that was all about ionic bonding or the electrovalent bond. Bye-bye.